The town of Taman Jurong has only been around for some 40 years, but the impact that it has had on Singapore is undeniable. Taman Jurong was born forth as part of Singapore's early industrialization attempts. In 1952, Jurong was selected as the site for Singapore's first industrial estate. At that time, Jurong was a cachet of barren marshland and mangrove swamps. However, its deep waters and uninhabited areas proved ideal for setting up industry there. Swamps were filled and hills were leveled to make way for construction to begin. It was in the early 1960s when the first factories in Jurong started churning out items like textiles, steel and plywood. The need for skilled workers in certain industries saw many foreign workers coming from overseas to work in Jurong. They lived in makeshift accommodation at that time. At the same time, local workers from across the island were reluctant to travel all the way to Jurong to work. Jurong was in the far west of the island and was relatively inaccessible to people who wanted to work there. To help rectify this problem, a hostile estate was constructed in Jurong to provide cheap, affordable housing for these local and foreign workers. This area was called Taman Jurong. Taman Jurong was named as such because of Jurong Town Council's plan to turn the area into a garden city. From the time the blueprint for Taman Jurong was laid down in 1964, the area has played a large part in the growth, development and transformation of Jurong from a solely industrial estate into a thriving and self-sufficient new town. In December 1996, an extensive plan was unveiled by Minister Yeo Chiao Tong to transform some of Jurong's oldest housing estates into prime residential areas. These would include a wide range of recreational and educational activities. Today, Taman Jurong is a full-fledged housing estate replete with modern amenities such as shopping centres, recreational facilities such as bowling alleys and street soccer courts. Take a walk through Taman Jurong and you wouldn't have imagined that it all started with a few simple hostel buildings.